Hello, STA Youth Alumni. I'm back with Matt Lines, the Associate Director for Campus Ministry here at St. Thomas for the Catholic News. Thanks for joining, Matt. Oh man, really great to be here. Today, we are going to talk a little bit about how to get connected with your campus ministry when you arrive at your new university or college. Matt, you want to touch a little bit on your experience of how students can get involved? Definitely, guys. You know, I think the main thing is when you're going in, you can do your research ahead of time, right? So you can go in a lot of times, whether it's a parish or a campus ministry proper, they'll have a website that you can search out. I'll have tons of information about the life of the ministry, the different ways that you'll be able to get plugged in. From there, maybe search out something like a group me. I know that's kind of where all of our um, chatting and all that stuff kind of lives. Great way to get plugged in for social events and then we also have an events and news chat specifically so you can find out about everything that's going on as you're going in now i know with catholic who's we already have first years that are joining the group as we speak so if this is like a few months out that could totally be you getting involved before you even set foot on campus yeah i remember when i went when i got to uva the first event that catholic who's uh puts on and that similar events happen i'm sure around the country is called pig roast mm -hmm. and it's your chance to come meet all the you know the staff, the other students, the student leaders, and also formally get connected, right? So at that event, you can fill all kinds of forms, and I imagine it's pretty similar most, most places that you go. Yeah, 100%. I would totally recommend like getting involved in those big, uh, kind of like big 10 events that are gonna be going on, like a pig roast. Not only is it a great way to meet uh, the staff and the priest and all the people that are gonna be formative in your life while you're there, you also can meet friends. And really, um, again, I think we touched on this in the first video, just would really encourage you to start off trying to find a Bible study or something yeah. like that. Um, that's a great way to be able to get yourself plugged in. And those friends that you meet, not only will you study the Bible together, they'll be like your built-in community, your built-in friends as you're going through life. Yeah. One cool thing about living in a college environment is that you do everything with these people, mm -hmm. right? Uh, you're going to go to Mass with them, you're going to do social events with them, share meals with them, be in classes with them. And I think kind of getting yourself plugged in just by being present is a great first step. And there will, be, there will be people, wherever you guys end up, who are there to support you and help you get connected. Mm -hmm. Any other words of wisdom, Matt? Man, just the only other thing, I guess, is like, don't be afraid to put yourself out there, right? Like, this is going to be an experience where you're going to be new. It's going to be hard to get your feet under you. Don't be afraid to ask, like, that Catholic student that you met maybe at an intro event or whatever it was. Get their phone number. Keep up with them. Ask them maybe on Friday or Saturday of that coming Sunday, hey, do you want to walk to Mass together, right? It's a great way to keep yourself accountable, give yourself um, a way to make like going to Mass feel a little less lonely, a little mm -hmm. less isolated, right? And then those people can and will become the friends that, again, you will go through all four years with. I know the people that I met on my first year dorm um, were the people that I had at my wedding, right? And they mm -hmm. were my groomsmen and my bros for life. So I hope the same for you finding your brothers and sisters in Christ at college. Um, I know that God will bless it. And, and to offer it all up in prayer, because that will really open all of these doors for you. Amen. Hopefully this, this few minutes was helpful, and we look forward to hearing or from you guys hearing from us shortly. Next week, we're going to be talking a little bit about prayer habits. Thanks, Matt. Oh, yeah. Thank you, man.